MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Atlanta Braves. Braves baseball, next. Mike Soroka gets the starting assignment for the Braves. Dan, any thoughts? Looking forward to watching this one, Matty D. This guy's come a long way in a short period of time. Still relatively new to the league, but it'll be interesting to see how he attacks the lineup in this one. Digging in, Gene Segura. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Segura. Pitch of the at bat. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Guys, one of D Rose's former employers, the Braves, as they begin play here this afternoon. They come in in a bit of a rough patch. They've dropped four in a row. First pitch, 135. Now the 1 0. It's laid off, but in there for strike one. And we should see some 90s as we go forward. 88 degrees, our game time temperature. moves to two and one now. Well we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But hey I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. But it's hardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. All even at two and two. Here it is. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now three and two. That pitch was way down on two and two, but give the hitter some credit there. Sometimes with two strikes, you're more off to expand Three. the strike zone, but he didn't and held off on that one that wasn't even close. He throws him for the strikeout. Gene Stop Segura it. becomes the well, first good. out of the inning. So the bases are empty with one man gone, and with it brings the left handed swinging Andrew Benintendi. Here's the first pitch to him. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. And he'll squeeze this one for the second up. Batting third. The right fielder, number three. Bryce. Here's Bryce Harper. Harper now. And for him, you have to think a turnaround is coming. Clearly not going his way of late. Ready. Here's the first offering. Hey. Two out, nobody on. Ball. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Well, time to look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Dave Lawrence. Dan, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the business, in my opinion, but sometimes has a tendency to fall into a pattern where he's given a little bit too much on that outside corner. Yeah, D-Road, one of the things he'll do, he'll open up that outside corner, especially with left-handed battles. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Down, two and two. Swing and a high drive to right center field. Ranging back is Inciarte. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. A solo home run off the bat of Bryce Harper, the 248th of his career. And the Phillies grab a one to nothing lead. What a way to get things started while playing on the road. Top of the first and a big fly, just like that, and they take the lead. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. I'll show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June.
pitch of the at bat on its way. And that misses for ball one. One ball and one strike to the Phillies' first baseman. You know, from an offensive standpoint, they already knew they had their work cut out for him against a great pitcher. But if he's going to locate like that, this is going to be a tough day. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. Nice piece of hitting right there. Kept his shoulders square, his hands inside the baseball, and was able to fight off a good, nice executed pitch for him. Now with the plate, Justin Turner. As you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. First offering on its way. And he lays off there 1 0. Turner, a veteran at 35 years of age, he was selected in the seventh round or in the first year player draft of 2006. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Helping him out here as he swings and misses to fall behind the ball in two strikes. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. A swing and a fly ball. But no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. That ball so two is. balls and two strikes now. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. This is hit high in the air out to left field. And Ozuna will make the catch to retire the side. Medina gets the starting assignment for the Phillies. What's your take on him, Dan? One of the things that jumps out if you look at that stat sheet, a very high whip coming into this start. One of the things he's going to have to do a much better job, keep traffic off the bases, keep the walks down, try to limit the amount of hits. He's had a rough goal of that so far this year. Let's see if he can turn it around in this one. Ender and Ciarte will be the next to bat. They'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the row. To right field. Harper has a read on it. He's got it one away. Batting back. Not your job. Dansby. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. Swinging it well so far in this series. He's three for nine. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Chopped up the line to first, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Here's the pitch. A high fastball is in there. One out, nobody on. Fouled away. Another foul ball. ball and on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. High fastball right there with a two strike count. You know what that might be doing? Setting up the next pitch could be that hard slider down and away. Something breaking down and away off the plate. 
Tried to hold up there. Appeal down at first and no swing. It's ball two. Don't quite know where that one missed, but it's not for me to decide. Three and two. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of the pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. The right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy in the mound work for it. When you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into the start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. He'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Dan Dero, these Phillies, as they begin play here today, they've been in a nice little groove of winning three of their last four games. Yeah, Matty, I always felt like these were huge games, whether it's earlier in the season or later in the season, to find a way to get to 500. You feel like you can start fresh and start pushing in a different direction. You cannot continue to ride that seesaw of win one, lose one. This team has to get hot. Starts today. Left a change out there for him, but he missed it two and one. Hey, this pitch better be careful right here. A man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. There's a base hit on the line. Through first and hustling for second. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. I thought it might throw a but he manages to squeak it just inside the right field line. Well hit, line drive double. By the time the right fielder tracked it down, he was easily into second. And that'll bring in Marcelo Zuna. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. From the stretch. Oh, left out. This is 2-0. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Got to sit middle-middle when a guy's trying to pitch around you. If he's going to give you first base, take it. And the two and one. Line drive, stag on a short hop. Throwing the dirt with a good scoop of first change and error as the side is retired. Danger averted following the two out double. Back with more of this Thursday afternoon business person special following this. from the splits he's really struggled away from their home ballpark first pitch of the at bat on its way yeah wind up and the 0 one and this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. A ball and two strikes now. And that misses two and two. Here's the pitch. And the dirt, but swung on and missed. Weeders gathers it. Throw to first is in time, one down. 
Well, you know you've made a real nice pitch when you bounce it in the dirt, and you still get the hitter to swing at it. That tells me that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now. Digging in, Zach Collins. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now the pitch. Hey. Collins, native Floridian. This is his first year at the big league level. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hey. Well, they got to him in the first inning, which is huge. But he looks a lot more settled into this ball game right now. He's not the kind of pitcher you want to let get into a groove out there. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. One ball, two strikes. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Hey, I get it. He wants to set up that breaking ball and down it away. But that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close. Hit hard on the ground and short. And there's out number two. That is it. The second base. No game. Four shots. At the plate, Logan Forsythe. Nine at bats for him in the series so far, and he's collected a pair of hits. First pitch on its way. Hey! Phillies have an early 1 0 lead here in inning number two. And this is wide. One ball and one strike. High in the air out towards shallow right. Number 86 is there and he'll put it away to retire the shot. Phillies down in order. And after an inning and a half, it's one to nothing. Second set to go, and set to go is the third baseman, Austin Riley. Riley. First pitch on its way. Now a shot out toward the alley in right center. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he will pull in the second with a leadoff bubble. Now that's the way you answer. They're down one nothing already. But he races the double and puts himself in the score. That'll get the dugout fired up and excited to punch back. Catcher Matt Wieters now. Nope. So he'll take a look at the pitch. Too low. It's a goal one. The 1 0. -oh. Oh. Fastball taken high for a ball. Chopped foul right at home plate. Medina has become known as a starting pitcher that frequently works deep into games. The kind of guy you want on the staff when your team needs some rest because he tends to eat up innings all by himself. The 2 1 home misses above the zone for a ball. Three balls, one strike. Misses there for ball four, so runners are at first and second now with nobody out. That is done. The right field. Number 86. Stepping up now, number 86. Carries a batting line in the 280s to begin this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Fastball to get. 
gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. This is where, as a hitter, you need to slow your thinking. You know he's trying to get you a double play ball right here. You have to control the strike zone. Send him packing, catch on its way. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. Foresight for one. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. That, is, that was kind of a high degree of difficulty play that time. You see the off balance along the second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. Stepping in for the Braves, Adam Duvall, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Change up, ball strike one. Hey, this is a spot as a pitcher right now you want to get a little bit greedy. Ideal would be to roll up a two ball. At worst, try to get yourself a strikeout. But they throw it away. And the tying run is in to score from third. It's one to one. Oh, that's a shame because he made an outstanding diving stop right there. That's why I think the adrenaline might have been pumping a little bit too hard. And the ball just takes off on him. Too bad. That could have been a highlight for your play. Now runners at first and second. And next will be the pitcher, Mike Soroka. He's set and the pitch. And the pitcher will indeed try and move his runners as he gets this one down. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Back with more of this Thursday afternoon business person special following this. So here now is the pitcher, Medina, nine, one, and two do up. The pitcher, number 77. Pitch on the way. From the windup, the one-one pitch, and they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Segura.
first pitch to him. Popped him up. Duvall has a play. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now batter. The left fielder. Andrew. Benintendi. Stepping in. Andrew Benintendi. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now one and zero. Oh. Oh. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's fouled away. No oh, offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. A 3-1 count to the one. Phillies three left one. fielder. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw in time and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. After two and a half, it remains a 1-1 ball game. Here's Ender in Siarte. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball one, no strike. The 1 0. He's taken strike one. Down low, two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. This is skied into short left center. Ben Intendi in pursuit. He gets there and makes the play for the first down. Now back. Good stop. Dansby Swanson lining up to hit. There was a strikeout victim in his first try. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, the north of seven, out. eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. The 1 0. Fastball that misses. Gets this fastball over. It's two and one. Bases are empty. One man in. Line drive to left. Pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. The batter, number one, second baseman, Aldi. Aldi. Empty here with two gone. That will bring up Ozzy Albies. Here's the pitch. Hey. Looked like he was oh going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. Two out, nobody on. Takes strike two. And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line. 
And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Ready with another 0 2. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. And I'm sure that one stings a little bit. The best revenge he can get for his pain is to find a way to come around to score. We'll see if his guys can move him around the bases. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And that'll bring up the big RBI bat of Marcelo Zuna. As a look, now the pitch. Especially after drilling the last guy up at the plate, that's just a great job to get your mechanics back onto you and establish yourself back in the strike zone. success against some of the better hitters in the game you've got to get that pitch right there 0 2 he's almost certainly out 1 1 he's got a chance to really do some damage very high right. 2 and 1 Two and two. Two out with the man at first. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. at bat and what does he do he uses it pulls the string and gets the big strikeout and that will bring up the Sacramento product Reese Hoskins as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate a base hit in his first trip Turned on, but that's ripped foul down the third baseline. Oh, and he's 
struck him out as well. So he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. If this doesn't boost your confidence on the mound, I'm not sure what does. That six pitches and two strikeouts in the inning, and that was a really nice fastball for the punch out on that one. At the plate, Justin Turner. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. Wind up and the 1 0 pitch. It looked like the fastball got away from him there. Now the 2 0 home. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd. Foul. One run, two hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Phillies so far. Turner in front of three balls and a strike. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Can't keep that one fair, and now the count's full. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Hit down the third baseline. Reined in. The first Got game, plenty of time, and his side is retired. Phillies down in order to go to the bottom of the fourth, tied at one to one. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth, and standing in is the rookie third baseman, Austin Riley. Riley. First pitch to him. Counts one and oh. Pitch sharply, but foul down the right side. One one. Laid off for ball two. Hey, after the double his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Very one down and away, but it's full count now. Three and two. Matt Weeders waiting on deck. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. In now, Matt Weeders. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He threw a base on balls his first time up. Home. Weeders, 33 years old. This is his 12th season in the big league, so he's put together a really nice career to this point. Yeah, Maddie, this guy has had an amazing career. And you know what? It's a testament to how hard he's worked, Down the changes he's had to make. This is a game of adjustments. You don't hang around this long if you're not prepared to make some adjustments along the way. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Hitters count all the way, and here it comes. 
swung on and belted. Zone for a strike. I got to count one and two. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. A big strikeout. Keep that guy off the base. Now. New ball. At the plate now, Adam Duvall. Swing and lift the ball fouled off to the left and out of play. 0 for 1 with a run batted in thus far. The 0 1 on its way. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouls this one off. Here's another 0 2. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. One for the Braves in the inning, and it comes courtesy of the long ball. We're through four. It's now 2 to 1 Atlanta. Digging in to try it again. Jake Roos. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. And the first ball pitch of the it. inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. This may be a ball with a strike. Great job of doubling up the fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. Bruce around the bag, heading for second now. And the Phillies are able to get things started with a leadoff double. Finally, a little yeah. something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat. This might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores it. Then who knows what kind of roll they can get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Stepping in now, Zach Collins. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ready with the 0-1. Down the third baseline. Uh, this will line up a foul ball. Strike two. Work 
looking for the punch out and the offering. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he's set down for the first out. Fooled him just yeah, enough of that pitch to get him to go around, according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big, strong guys because once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. First pitch of the at bat on its way. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. in the ballgame. From the stretch. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone and there are two gone. Now, after back-to-back -back strikeouts, he's got a real good chance of making that lead off double pretty much meaningless. He's made some good pitches, and these hitters have really failed driving him in, or at least getting him over. Into the box now, Medina. He'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Fifth inning. Two to one our score. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on two two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Now ball line softly down the right field line. Foul. The 2-2. Two -two. Two two pitch. Helpful. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Billy Strand won. They're down two one. First offering on its way. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. It's taken several inches below the zone, in fact. And two now as that one's fouled off. Weak rounder back to the mound. And that's out number one. Now back, center fielder, and her. In the okay. Of the lineup stepping in, Ender Inciarte, 0 
for two. He's flown out twice. First pitch coming. Here it is. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. One out, nobody on. A ball and a strike now to the Atlanta leadoff man. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And no one will track it down. Lifted in the air out to left field. Waiting on it is Benintendi. And that's the second out of the inning. The batter number seven. Box stands B. Swanson. A strikeout and a lineout for him so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Bruce on the run. He tracks it down and that will end the inning. Braves are set down one, two, three. They still lead it two to one. will get both a left-hander and a right-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. And it's fouled away. One one. Now that's popped up. In there, base hit. Hey, sometimes that's how a rally gets started right there. I know it's a soft liner, but leadoff man on usually poses problems. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. In the dirt here. And a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. The one off. That's a ball. Maybe a bit of an overthrow there, guys. May have let that front side open up a little early to try to pump up on a fastball and sailed on it. Three and zero. If I'm in the three box right now, I'm coming in glued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. Three zero pitch. Rolled slowly down the first baseline, but this is foul. One run, four hits. One error in the ballgame for the Phillies so far. And oh, he thought he worked the walk, but it's a ball strike two now. Fell behind early in this one, 3 0, and has battled back with two quality strikes. Interested to see if he catches a big part of the plate right here or tries to get a nibble. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. Pops this one up. Albies in the shallow center. He gets there to make the play for the first down of the inning. Now back to right field. Right. Parker. On his way out to the mound now is the Atlanta skipper. And we're going to have a 
pitching change is that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart with the lead and a chance to be the winner, but he is responsible for the tying run at first. Sean Newcomb will come on now to make his 30th appearance of the year so far. Number 15. Bryce Harper will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. He's set, here it comes. Pitch out, nothing doing. Situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be down in the zone, but hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. Standing in now, Reese Hoskins. So he lets it in the air to right field. He'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. One left for Philadelphia. Our score remains 2-1. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and standing in is the switch-hitting second baseman, Ozzy Albies. First pitch of the at-bat. Here's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. Just manages to foul that fastball off to the left, and he's in a hole now, down 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Pops him up toward the left side of the infield. And this is taken in for out number one. The left fielder, number 23. First down. Oh, no. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. 
outside that ball. And he has a credit that one, one but count. misses two and one. Fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. He definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curve there, and that's out number two. That's just quality pitching right there for that strikeout. As we look at all five pitches, Notice the location, all five down in the zone. Some guys are real good low ball hitters, but more often than not, keeping the ball down is going to lead to a lot of success on the mound. At the plate, Austin Riley has the first pitch to him, runs a bit inside for ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. This guy's in a good groove right now. Seven straight retired. He's locked in. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Here's a ball hit in the air. And it's a foul ball. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. This one is hit a ton out to center. Lacing back the center fielder. And it's out of here. Back to back. Two out home run. Solo shot to right center. His second of the game. And the Braves open things up here. It's quarter one. Standing six foot three gets the ball now out of bullpen. In 
into the box, number 86. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. Oh. Mariano, a native of the Dominican Republic, is currently on a one-year deal, so he stands to be a free agent at the end of this season. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. Hit down the line at first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. Seventh inning coming up. Atlanta leads it 4-1. Seventh inning ready to roll. And standing in is the veteran third baseman, Justin Turner. First delivery to him on the way. Tried to check it and it's 0-1. Hit out to Albies at second base. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The batter, the center fielder, Jay Bruce. Here's Jay Bruce now. A hit and two tries for him so far. First pitch of the at bat. And he gets the call that time for strike number one. Hey, you want someone sometimes to rattle the bat rack, but also the guy on the mound's got to eat too. They're executing their pitches out there. It's going to be tough to score some runs. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. We're in the seventh now. Four to one, our score to this point. I right, ties him up with a fastball inside, one and two. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. Yep, and they could go either way now, I suppose. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. Okay. So a full count now. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. High in the air into shallow left center. Ozuna is under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. The batter, the catcher, that Collins. Stepping into the box, Zach Collins, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. First offering on its way. Breaking Count ball below the zone. That's ball one. Two out, nobody on. Count now a ball and a strike. Now the one and one pitch. Lifted the other way out to left center. And Ozuna will make the catch to retire the side. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. And this is still a 4-1 ball game. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And set to go is the veteran first baseman, Adam Duvall. Adam Duvall. Set. Here's the nothing. 
expecting a nothing pitch. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. The 1 0. Finds the zone, strike one. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Now, here's the pitch. and a miss is he couldn't connect on the two-seamer and that's out number one. Nice two-seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses with that pitch unless it's really moving. So that one must have had some real good late light. Ronald Acuna will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Takes ball one. He'll enter play with that average of a sterling 331. 15 long balls and 49 runs batted in. The 1 0. That's ball two. He may be down 2 0 after those first two pitches in this AB, but those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. They did miss by a whole lot, so it's not like he's all over the place. And the pitch. And a little doubt about that one. That's in there, and it's two and one. Wow, I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And it's a foul ball. Bases are empty, one man. And this pitch is taken high and away to fill the count. It's three and two. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Lays ball off, four. ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. The center fielder, number 11, Ender. So a runner at first now, with one away. That'll bring up Ender in Ciarte. From the stretch. All one, no time. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. <laughs> Advantage count 2-0 to the Braves center fielder. Clearly working the bottom of the zone. Trying to get a ground ball for a double play. Throw over to the bag. And a dive, but he's back. Runners on first with one down. Too far out in front that time. He can't keep it fair. Two and one. Rounder down the line at third, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was laid on that heater is he was expecting another change. Dive back in safely. Oh, 
swing and a liner. But gloved by the third baseman for the out. The batter number seven. Shortstop, Dansby. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And that brings up the former number one overall pick, Dansby Swanson. Liriano sets. Here it comes. Line drive to center field. Bruce will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Braves strand one, but they lead it four to one. Jukie Toussaint has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. Number 62. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Logan Forsythe. Logan Forsythe. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for the ball. Strike with the breaking ball. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. The one two is swung on and missed. He got him. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, no, that, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really Rest force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Howie Kendrick will come on now as a pinch hitter, so that'll spell the end for Francisco Liriano. Howie Kendrick. Hit to third. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first, and Kendrick is gone. Two away now. The back, number two, shortstop, Gene Segura. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Gene Segura. He's working on a one for three thus far. Set and the pitch. Flying to the right side. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Hey, they weren't going to keep this guy down for long. That's the ebbs and flows of the baseball How about it? Bottom oh, line yeah. is this guy has bad to ball skills. We knew he was going to get out of there. Stands in. And a ball 1 0. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. One ball, one strike to count. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Sliced hard on the ground. Over to Albies covering that second. And that'll do it. So no runs on a hit here. No errors. One man left on. Home half of the eighth. Straight ahead. It's the Braves four. And the Phillies one. Mike Morin. Saw the pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. For Philadelphia. Number 28. Mike Morin. Up steps Ozzy Albies. One for two with a double on his line thus far. The second baseman, Ozzy Albies. He's set. Here it comes. Hit out towards second. And there's He's one down, down there. The left fielder, number 23. Mark 
Bell. One away for the Braves here in inning number eight. And that'll bring up the big time RBI man, Marcelo Zuna. Here comes the first pitch. And there's a base hit on the line. Now this gets all the way to the wall. And he is in at second base with a one out double. He got the pitch he wanted. Now that is missing right now. Third manager job. Off the wall. Take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Read this one almost in books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, Hero, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, on, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate. They did that. So a runner at second, two down now, and digging in next to be the switch hitting catcher Matt Wieters. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this AB. First offering on its way. Count one and zero. Oh. Strike. I changed things up on him and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the third. Eighth inning. Four to one is our score. Two balls and two strikes now to the Braves catcher. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second just because he took the first one that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. Uh, two two. It's laid off and the count runs full. Number 86 would be next. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Three, two, one more time. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Well, when you go with the slider there in a full count, you're hoping that the hitter is thinking fastball and swings through it. Didn't work out that way, though. He lays off and gets the free pass. Ready now, number 86. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Two left for Atlanta as they hold on to a four to one lead. conference at the home plate area so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Your Smith, Smith comes on from the pen he hoping to finish this Atlanta. one off here in the top now of the ninth. And batting in the sixth spot, number 16, Will Smith. Now and Bryce now. Harper standing again as we take it back to earlier in the ball game. This one swing here has been the entire offense to this point as this home run accounted for the only run they've tallied so far. Here's the first.
first pitch to him. this thing off and he just made his job a lot more difficult. We'll see if he can get dialed in again here on the next pitch. A runner at second, nobody out. In for a strike and he jumps ahead one and two now. In his career, Hoskins brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. Open to send him packing. Hits on its way. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is they're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. You think you can drive it, but it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Hey. And a fastball in there for a strike, one and one. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. Swing and this as he pulled the string on him. One and two. Hey, hats off to the pitching staff right here. They've been able to hold a hot hitter in check in game four this year. Okay. That misses and we're even at two and two. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. Breaking ball well inside and taken for ball three. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Nope, and that four. misses Big ball break. four. So it's first and second now with only one away. The closer is supposed to slam the door on his opponent, but the he left the door right. wide open with a walk there. We'll see if they can capitalize on it. So a 
it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out. And stepping in the dangerous left-handed hitter, Jay Bruce. Set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Runners are at first and second with one away. Check swing here, but he pretty clearly broke the plane, and it's 0-2 now. to send him packing pitch on its way big spot right here that's a great pitch to try and see if you could get him to fish outside the zone he's still in the driver's seat right now and I'd expect something else than this off the play the one two oh. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making them work for this one. First and second now, one man out. Fouled off. Struggles continue. It's been a rough bullpen at the plate with him, and watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. To the plate now, Zach Collins. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Nope, and here's a pitch ball. high and tight for a ball, 1 and 1. I got a ball, 1 strike. Set. Now the pitch. And it's fouled away. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet.